Hello folks, you may have the same problem that I've got. I noticed it today when one of the kids got on the top bunk. This bunk bed just doesn't seem real stiff and stable and the whole thing moves around. This whole thing moves around like this and when somebody jumps in the top bunk, it, the whole thing just seems, and I'm barely even moving this thing, I'm kind of worried that it's not going to hold up what it needs to hold up. Now, all the parts are installed the way they're supposed to be installed, but it's just not really, really stiff. There are a lot of ways that you can fix it, but I want to show you really what you're worried about. This is like one large picture frame. The main components on both sides, we'll talk this front side here, is this piece, all the way down to here, all the way down there, and back up. It's like one big picture frame, and we just need to stiffen up that picture frame. Imagine that picture frame with nothing in it. It's kind of flimsy. Well, that's what's going on here. This is probably what most folks uh, can do pretty easily, is use some wood. And all I'm going to do here, I'm not going to make this terribly pretty. If you're worried about this being pretty, well, try to find some wood that looks the same as this. This is kind of close. And I'm just going to cut these pieces of wood to make this more of a box. And I'm going to attach a piece, I'm going to cut this and I'm going to attach this piece to this piece here. And that'll get nice and stiff. I'm going to do the same thing down here. I'm going to do that on all the sides there. And I'm also going to put wood right over this. So before I start that, you know, you can use a measuring tape. If you're not worried about this being pretty, you can leave it hanging out here like this. But I'm going to cut that off like that. So you just want to, so I'm going to just make a mark wherever I want this thing. Yeah, I'll make a mark like that. And it needs to go up to about here. It doesn't have to be perfect, but about like that. So I'm just going to go cut those spots like that. I'm going to do it for each of those and then come back and show you how to attach those. I am back from dinner. It's been a few hours since I last talked to you. I cut the boards. It didn't take too long. Uh, I cut four like this that are just flat and I cut six like this and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with it. Um, but I haven't, I haven't been working this whole time. But I started putting it together and I just want to show you how we're going to do this. So to stiffen, since this top bed is plopped out on top of the bottom one right here and there's just a couple of screws holding that in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach a board here from the top to the bottom. I'm going to take a drill. I'm going to drill three holes on either side of this joint here, three holes on this side and three holes on this side, and that'll be plenty. And I'm gonna put screws in there. And then I'm going to take this board and attach it like so, something like that. And I've already started one on the other side, but uh, I'll show you what this looks like. Okay, I've got the, the board put up there. I'm going to just drill the, the pilot holes that we're talking about. So I'm going to find where this joint is here. And I want to be a couple inches below that for my first one. So about like that. And then one tip is to put a screw in there so that at least that stays. Because if I keep putting the other holes in and I accidentally move it like that, then the holes won't be lined up. So let me do that. Okay, I showed you the one hole. What I do is I, I get the screw in there. Remember, you gotta have a screw that's not gonna go all the way through. So you pick the length, that's the, the length of the material, just short, slightly shorter than that. So I've got sticking out a tiny bit. Then I can go find the hole that I was in. Just kinda line it up there. There we go. And I'm just gonna like that. Not all the way in, that way I can move it a little bit. But because I haven't drilled any of the holes, I just get it nice and straight like that. And again, I'm not worried about this being pretty. It's the kids' room. I just don't want the thing falling apart with a bunch of kids climbing on it. Now we're going to put the screws in.
All right, I've got that on there. This may be the single most important step doing that here and on the other side at the four posts. I've got this ladder here in the way, so I won't be able to do it on one unless I do it on the outside, I might. This may be the, the single most valuable component of stiffening up this bed. Now I'm gonna take this board here and I'm gonna line it up flush there and I'm gonna take some holes here. I'm just gonna put in some pile holes. I find the hole, there's my hole. There we go, so good start so far. I'm gonna put pilot holes here and uh, probably just gonna screw it through this way. But I'll, I'll show you what I've done there in just a minute. I've attached it up here and then I started coming up this way with a screw and I drilled a pilot hole there but this board is so thin that it's split. So what I did was I went in here through an angle with two holes. And if you're trying to drill a pile hole on an angle, the first thing you want to do is drill it straight a tiny bit till it goes in a little. Then you start, once it's already, the head's already in there, then you tilt it like that in an angle and then it goes in. So now I need to use a longer screw. Pull that out. And got a nice long one so that it goes through. So that it goes, because it's going in an angle, I wanted to get a lot of the meat of this and a lot of the meat of that. So let's put this one in. Yikes. I heard a little crack in there, but that's okay. And it did crack a little bit. You don't want to get too close to the edge here. I might even be a little bit too close. I probably should have been out farther because when you get too close to the edge, you'll split. So that one's pretty stiff there. You know, we could do pull-ups on that. It's not going anywhere. I'm gonna do it to the rest of the corners and then show you what we've got. The project is finished. Let me show you what I did here. I already showed you this and this vertical piece right here that goes up and down there. That's probably the most important part, but they're all important, but that one is the most important. So I did that at every spot, at every post. One over there, there's one on that side, and then in there, and then this last one had to be on the outside because of the ladder here. And what's key to remember here is just make sure you've got three screws, one, two, three, on both sides of the joint there. So there's three above and three below. Doesn't have to be perfectly spaced, uh, just needs to have three there. Even two would work, but I go with three for, for good measure. Down there at the bottom corner, the down there at the bottom corner, the ladder's in the way, so I can't do it there, but I don't need it. But I've got one there, that corner brace. Got one down there. You can see on this side, I did the same thing. Did the same thing there. And then a corner brace down at the bottom. Now that all those boards are on there, this thing feels rock solid. Yeah, it, it can wiggle a little bit just because it's so tall. But now that all of these are connected, the whole thing is connected to itself. This thing does not feel like it's gonna go anywhere. I could do pull-ups off of that. I could do pull-ups off of any one of these there's a noticeable difference. It's all one big piece rather than two bunk beds that are precariously perched over the, 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 the tops here. Wasn't pretty. I didn't care to make it beautiful. I just wanted to make it quick, slap some wood on there. You can do the same thing. Good luck as you try yours.